Hi, everybody. This is Dale and Shirley Guiducci with LifestyleOver50.com. And we wanted to come to you and just share with you another camping trip we just took to Fort DeSoto Park Campground in, what is it, Tierra Verde. Tierra Verde. Tierra Verde, Florida. Uh, let's call it St. Petersburg because it's right down uh, <laughs> below St. Petersburg, Florida, on the very, very tip of land before you go across the Tampa Bay. Absolutely beautiful, wouldn't you say? It was pretty amazing. My, my initial thought, though, when I got there was uh, we have been to State Park. And this uh, Fort DeSoto is a county park. So when we started walking around a little bit, um, I'm like, wow, okay, it doesn't seem like it is was as well maintained mm -hmm. as a state park. Just really it was the trees. Like they hadn't been trimmed and there right. was brush and stuff like that. But after that point, it was pretty amazing. Yeah, it was absolutely beautiful. And uh, But what was interesting when we got there, and one thing you should do if you're going to be camping, I guess anywhere, but certainly in Florida, is check the weather forecast. <laughs> Big time. Now, we, we did check the weather forecast, and it said it was going to rain. But if you live in Florida, as we do, it rains a lot in the afternoon right. during the summer. And it comes down for about an hour, 45 minutes or whatever, and then it goes away. Well, we got there, um, beautiful campsite. We'll talk about that in a second. But we got there, we dropped our trailer, and no sooner did we put that trailer down and get the car away, but uh, it started sprinkling, and that turned into a downpour. Major downpour. It and was like, oh, my God. <laughs> and we put our ponchos on, so good move on your pot. Shirley brought some ponchos and an extra tarp. Well, we put the ponchos on, and we did our setup, but it didn't stop, did it? No. I mean, it started at about noon. We got, well, was it noon we got there about? Yeah, about yeah. that. And uh, it didn't stop until, what, 4 or 5 o'clock in the afternoon. In fact, we set the, the camper up, got inside the camper, and took a nap because yeah, there was time. nothing else you could do. It was downpouring. And the key aspect of that is that um, it, although the sites drain very well, it did, you know, puddle up about two, three inches of rain right below, you know, where we were camping. Uh, but then it drains out. So, so check the weather forecast. And I think the other big thing for people, if they're going to Fort DeSoto, which again is gorgeous, is the fact that there's three different areas where you could camp. Why don't you talk a little bit about that? Yeah. So they have, I think it's area, just called simply area one, area two, and right. area three. And this is a very difficult um, uh, camping park to get into. So you got to plan ahead and, you know, really look out uh, to the future there. So we were actually fortunate. We did find that one spot only like three weeks out, but I know how difficult. So, but it has those three areas, one of which is um, right on the, I guess you call it the bay or the gulf, right? One has a pet friendly area and then one is combined. I think it's pet um, and any type of uh, camping unit. So we ended up in the pet area because it was the area two. Spot. Area two. Thank yeah, you. Area, area two. two. And um, it, it was a little crazy. Dale and I are huge, huge animal lovers. We we've had uh, two dogs before, unfortunately, senior and and passed on. And we have a cat. And animals don't bother us. But when you're in a campground and you've got lots of people with dogs. And the barking starts because somebody walked by with their dog and then that dog barks and then it just spreads. And then the owners so. are all going, no, stop, Fido, stop. <laughs> and so you have the owners getting involved. It, it gets it gets a little crazy. So if you love pets or you have a pet, go to area two. However, if you don't, then I highly recommend area three. Now, area one, which are sites one through 85, if I recall correctly. And by the way, we wrote a blog post and you can see in the description below this video that you can click a link and go read all about this uh, with, with pictures and the map of the campgrounds and so forth. But uh, one through 85, sites one through 85 are in area one. And although there isn't a bad campsite in, in Fort DeSoto right. campgrounds, these are the least, I, I think, of the three areas, the area one's the least desirable. Correct. Uh, simply because they're not, although you have some water views at times, uh, there's a lot of mangroves and you, you're you not on the water. You're pretty far distant from the water. Area two that we were in had some really nice views, right. but some had mangroves, uh, some didn't. Some you could launch your kayak right into the water from your campsite, which was really cool. Um 
but you had the dog thing. But area three. The bomb. And we, we rode our bikes all through these three areas so that we could report to you all. Uh, but area three is really super nice. On one side is a waterway, mm -hmm. um, kind of an in, in, sort of in towards the land waterway, but still absolutely gorgeous. And then it goes around a point and the point is spectacular. That's like sites 201 through 206, 200 to 207, something like that. Yeah, in the low, in the low 200s. Yeah. And, and the website, you know, when you're reserving does give you pictures. Now there's not a lot of pictures, um, but you'll see those sites and the big difference in, in the water view and being right at the edge of the water. Not like your campers at the edge, but you're, uh, you have no space, you know, between it's pretty awesome. It is awesome. And I, you know, and one thing I saw, um, in other reviews about Fort DeSoto is they, they talked about a lack of privacy and we really didn't feel that at all. Yes. The sites are right next to each other, but you would find that in most campgrounds, but there's seen, you know, there's vegetation in between the sites. I mean, we saw, certainly saw the campers on either side, but it, it didn't, I didn't feel like there wasn't privacy. No, I mean, the sites are narrow and we did have, you know, the trees and one side had a little less than the other, but their camper back is to where our front area is. So it, it really wasn't an issue no. for us. And when you, when we rode our bikes and saw the other sites, there's plenty of privacy. There's maybe a couple sites that like you're super open, but no, the, I, I say that the privacy was good. And going back to what you said about the not being as well maintained as some of the state parks we've been to, the other factor in terms of the person driving into the campsite with the trailer is there's a lot of potholes right. in the road. So go very carefully if you're pulling a trailer or driving your RV and for sure if you're tent camping it won't bother you so much but you know when you're pulling a trailer you've got that bounce going on and there are a lot of potholes number one because maybe the roads haven't been maintained quite as well but also the rain I mean they get a lot of rain down there on the coast and so forth so there's that aspect but the go ahead. No, I was just gonna say because the roads are dirt and not paved yeah yeah for sure and, but the, the bathrooms are plentiful. I mean, the, yeah. we actually had two bathrooms, shower bathrooms that were very close to us. They're clean, well-maintained. We saw the campsite host. I talked with her and so forth. So they right. do a nice job. Uh, so all in all, spectacular. I mean, and in fact, we came home and we reserved to go back in November, didn't we? Right. And we got a better water site this time. <laughs> but for, And for three nights this time. Correct. Yeah, we've come to the conclusion just in camping in general, whether it's this place or another, is that two nights isn't enough. You know, we really want to be down there three nights to really unwind and really relax and kind of experience the outdoors and just relaxation, right? Yeah, that one extra day is huge because your check-in is typically not till one. I know we got there at 12 and was able to get in. And so we got there on Thursday, one o'clock, you got half a day there, and then you got Friday, and then you're packing up in the morning on Saturday and you're leaving. So that one extra night makes a huge difference. Yeah, it absolutely does. Now, so that's the campgrounds. Campgrounds are really cool. There's a lot of biking that you can do throughout the campgrounds, um, for sure. Uh, kayaking all over Big the time. place, boating all over the place. Uh, but you also have the added benefit when you go to Fort DeSoto to go to the park. Right. So if you, and you can, you can, you can drive there. Certainly it's a few miles down the road, but you also can rent bikes right in the campgrounds. And rent kayaks. And you can rent kayaks too. But if you want to ride your bike, they've got a wide paved uh, bike trail right. from the campgrounds to the park. And the park is awesome. And we've been to the park before right uh and they've got two fishing piers they've got uh, miles and miles of beach they've got both paved bike trails and dirt bike trails mm -hmm. and you know throughout uh hiking uh pretty cool and they got the fort too they've got the actual old fort uh built in 1898 i, I looked mm -hmm. that up uh for the spanish american war to protect our coast um, so really, really awesome to, if you got the kids, take the kids, but even if you don't have kids, go there yourself, uh, and, um, and just enjoy. I mean, it's a really, really nice area. Yeah. The, the beautiful, uh, the beach area is beautiful. You can rent kayaks there and bikes there as True. well. So that's, um, in addition to, um, and it's just a beautiful area, like yeah. the piers to be able to walk. And it's miles of biking you can do. Yeah. Because we didn't even bike the whole thing. You can actually go further down and then, and then take a right 
along this peninsula of land and go all the way to the tip, which is North Beach. So you can, there's much, much, much uh, uh, things to do uh, when you go to Fort DeSoto Park, but what a great campground and, uh, you know, overall, and we are definitely going back. So anything else you want to, you want to share? Oh, I would like to tell them about, tell them about the, about the griddle. The griddle? The griddle. I, I was so excited. We got this griddle. Tell them about the griddle. Maybe because I cook every single day. It wasn't as exciting for me, but it is pretty awesome. So Dale was awesome to use the griddle. We just bought it. Um, and we do have that in our article. In that article. It is. It, it is. is in our article, specifically which one that we got. And it really makes a difference. Like we have an inside stove, which is small in the camper. And then we have a typical tabletop grill which you know has the great grill on top and then the griddle came and it really is awesome because you can cook anything on it breakfast was huge to do that with the uh, bacon and potatoes and yeah you definitely got to look at getting a griddle and then the other really cool thing i like that you bought for this trip was the trash can holder or the trash <laughs> bag holder it's plastic lightweight you're going what is this thing right but it, you set it up and it works great right to hold your bag i literally said to dale this is the best purchase outside it of the was. griddle that i've ever made and it's it's um it pieces together so it's compact it's super lightweight so great for the camper and it sets up awesome to put your trash bag in it and yep. it you know you don't have your bag spilling over worried about where to put it or hang it and so forth keeps your so. campsite neat Big clean time. whatever you know and and so you'll see both of those things in the article so yep. this is dale and shirley guiducci lifestyle over 50 that's Fort DeSoto. We're next up. We're going to, is it Little Manatee? Lake, Lake Manatee. Manatee. We're going to Lake Man Manatee here in another couple of weeks, and we'll be reporting back to you about Lake Manatee Campground in, uh, in Florida, uh, State Park in Florida, right? State Park. Lake Manatee State Park. So have a great day, and hopefully this was helpful. Have fun camping. Bye, everybody. See you all soon. <laughs>